During the recent maneuvers in North Carolina, the mission assigned to the 1st Battalion of the 21st Engineer Regiment, Aviation, was to construct and maintain an airplane landing field utilizing the new steel plank transportable runway. The Engineer Aviation Regiment is equipped with sufficient and proper equipment to construct and maintain landing fields. These large 8 and 12 cubic yard carry-all scrapers are an example of this equipment. The site selected was typical North Carolina terrain, a loose sandy soil covered with sparse vegetation. Therefore, a surfaced runway was indicated to support airplane wheel loads. After the position to be occupied by the runway had been determined, the next step necessary was to undertake the required grading. In this installation, ample time was available, so the engineers exercised more care in the grading operations than would normally be necessary. Approximately 40,000 cubic yards of earth were moved. The position of the first strip of the steel plank laid in the center of the field must be located with great accuracy so that the completed runway will be properly placed in the graded area. This type of steel plank is perforated to reduce the weight of the individual plank. Each plank is 15 inches wide and 10 feet long and covers 12 and 1 half square feet. The weight of the individual plank is 66 pounds. This was the first time this type of steel plank had been used for a runway. The steel planks were piled along the edge of the area to be covered and initially each piece was carried out by two men and laid in interlocking position. The first row was placed accurately with reference to the established line. Half pieces made by burning one of the steel planks in two were used so that the second and subsequent rows would break joints. The keys on the edges of the plank lock the rows firmly together and a spring clip is provided for insertion in the keyways to prevent the strips from becoming unlocked while the runway is in use. The keyed edges are interlocked by inserting the keys in the keyways, laying the plank down, and sliding it lengthwise. To speed up the process, a separate carrying crew was used to carry the planks onto the field to their approximate location. A laying crew then placed each plank in its position and interlocked the keys on the edges of the plank.
The final step in speeding up the operation was to truck the strips to their approximate location on the field and unload piece by piece from the truck. This was the fastest method of laying. The runway, when completed, was 3,012 feet long and 150 feet wide. The change in appearance of the runway in the background shows where the direction of laying the planks was reversed at the center of the field. 